What's up everybody? Welcome to another Gentry and Sons trucking video. Real quick before we get into it, we got a crazy one today. So Bryce is getting ready to head out to SEMA. He's taking the black 389. So guys, this is his first big responsible, like serious big time haul. <laughs> like, yeah. And plus he's taking the truck to SEMA. So him and Tim, one of our other drivers, they're gonna take this thing out, they're gonna team it. They've gotta go to Kansas, pick up Weston, and uh, the race car trailer, and the smoke stang, the black Mustang, and the TRX. So that's gonna be a really, really cool trip. Not only that, he just got back from hauling uh, Cletus's F-350 and all his side-by-sides down here. Um, we've actually got that truck on its way out to Glamis right now. They're doing a really cool video out there, and we picked up a surprise on the way. Like, it is gonna be awesome. So be watching out for one of Cletus's videos, because it's gonna be awesome. Um, so big YouTube week. We're expanding back out, doing and doing some uh, YouTube hauls again. It's a little slow on the boat side right now, so we're kind of trying to do some things to compensate it and get the record built and all that. But um, yeah, you can follow Bryce on Instagram. Um, he'll be updating on that and sending me some stuff, and I'll update you guys along the way. But when he gets back, uh, he is going to take a camera. He's going to film this whole trip. Pump up! I'm ready for it. Um, all right, we're good deal. All right, let's get him in his comfort, out of his comfort zone. All right, so we're going to get into the website really quick. We've got a bunch of new merch on there. So much we couldn't do an actual live drop. But uh, this is the new long sleeve. This is the Black Peterbilt Gentry Acres. It's got it down the sleeve. Um, we got a bunch of other new stuff, some little knickknacks. We got our women's section up and going. Tank tops, hats, t-shirts. Um, we got some other little knickknacks. Another big one, we got a new hat Dude, color I drop. Like hat. It uh, matches the old yellow shirt really well. Um, and coming soon, it's not yet, but soon we will be having a sweatshirt drop with, can't tell you yet, but it's gonna have an awesome truck on. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a very sick. cool design. Um, super, super we sick. We worked about a month on getting all the fine details figured out to make it a perfect sweatshirt. Uh, but it's yeah. gonna be an awesome drop. I'm excited to see. I can't wait to wear one. I know. Uh, we've always wanted to have a hoodie. I know. Always. So. Oh crap, the police is here. Uh, <laughs> Guys, this is Philip. This is one of our new drivers, actually. Um, he's on his two week notice right now. Three more nights. Three more nights. Dude, you gotta be safe. We gotta have you. I know. Hopefully ain't nothing crazy happens with the in between then and now. Don't wash your car. <laughs> but anyways we're gonna let y'all get to the video we had a crazy week um actually a crazy day it was just in one day this all happened it was monday we had a bad monday um had some reefer issues with uh we got like twenty five thousand dollars worth of meat for free and then we tried to do the right thing and then it bit us in the butt yeah. and then uh trip got into an accident so guys if you don't have dash cams in your truck let it be, you need to get them. Period. Yeah. You need to get them. So if we didn't have dash cams right now, we would be in a world of hurt. Uh, they literally just saved our butts and that truck has cameras on both sides. So it sees down the side of the truck, especially on the top accident we just had. It was a right hand turn accident. So everybody was okay. That's really, that's what matters. Everybody's fine, but um, it also, um, it could have really cost us. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. So we're gonna let you guys get to the video though, and uh, we're gonna finish getting this truck ready for SEMA. So hopefully we see you guys out there. This bad boy filled up. I need to put a tank in the back of it where it needs. It's getting about eight miles to the gallon right now. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is that? He was in the parking lot. Well, guys, we got one wrecked. It ain't horrible. 
I couldn't use my tow truck. I just got the insurance finalized today. And the trip just got hit coming in. That sucks. What a day, what a day, what a day. All right, we're getting this thing unloaded. I've been over there on the phone. So this truck just got back in. All right, this, there's a there's two pallets of meat in the back of this truck. And driver went to Atlanta this morning, unloaded, and they left two pallets of meat in it. And he asked him like, hey, what do I need to do with this meat? He said, it's overages, you know, so if you want them, take them. And they didn't unload it off the truck. Signed the bill of ladings. Uh, driver brought everything back. And I even called the broker and I said, hey, what do we do with this? Well, bam, here, after the driver's back for an hour, and I'm trying to figure out who to donate this stuff to, uh, now the broker calls me and they're like, hey, that's got to go back down there. They're going to take it. So I guess the, the seller and the buyer worked out some sort of deal where they would buy those two pallets even though they they made the mistake and signed the bill of ladings and sent it back said it was two pallets over that they weren't taking it so now now they're wanting the product back down there and they're wanting me to ship it down there for i got clean bill of ladings and you guys closed the trailer up because it was a meat shipper so they opened and closed the trailer from the inside of the facility so dealing with that, and then now trip. And trip. I can't believe it broke that other side. How did it break that other side? This side don't look broke. Broke the steering ball towards molded. He hit it pretty hard, huh? When he does that down, we'll lay down on these stands and we'll work. I gotta give me some of them hooks like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. hydraulics on it oh that's fancy <laughs> remote control did he hit the wheel right I mean, it could have been a lot worse. He had to be rolling. Golly, Tom. He jumped out of the way. Did they? Crowlitz Pike's a dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. Right in between your legs. Is it? I mean, I had a, our stuff's in the front of the truck, so. Did you, see, did you look in there? Yeah. Everything's in the front. No, it could have been a lot worse. All that matters is you're okay. Yep. He's fine. We can fix this thing. Ain't no big deal. So it ain't as bad as I thought it was. We can fix this bumper. Put a bumper on. <laughs> Better push that bumper back. You never know it. Get his new, or what is it? Just like a new. Just like a new. Just like a new. This thing, it broke the frame. 
Yeah, I like those hooks. Yeah. Where can I order those? Uh, Sentry. Yeah. Yeah. A and W Direct. Yeah. Towing supplies. They're pretty good. Yeah. Those right there, you order them Sentry, you're gonna pay about six hundred dollars a piece. Man. Golly, bum. They're proud. They're proud of it. But. Well, I like that door you got there. Yeah. Sentry orders them from A and W. That's the way it goes. Man, I'm sorry I didn't get to come test out the tow truck. I called the magnificent Tim Gentry to come rescue me, and you don't even go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thing he was sitting there, huh? He, he, he happened to ease by right after I just got back. I said, hey, I was talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you say you're busy. Can you uh, weld it or fix it? Uh, I think we can. I think it's just broke, sheared the bolts off. No, the brackets. Is it the brackets and all? It's cast. I would like to have the remote. Oh, that's this fancy. Right here's the only bad thing about a century cylinders. Yeah. Oh, every wait. one of them. That's pretty much the same bed I got, ain't it? With the wheel lift and stuff. It's integrated, I guess you yeah. call it. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot fancier. I mean. Yeah, it's. 380. 380. X15. I got a Detroit. 60 series, 12 7. I tuned her up a little bit. She runs pretty good. But when it pulls out of here, it's going to look, it won't even be the same truck. It'll be, I'm going to paint it and put wheels and tires and stuff and lights. And... Yeah, we've got, yeah, he's working for the land. We've got one just like the truck, just like that one. Got a DTU on it. He probably makes a killing, don't he? Oh, yeah. Can you got on back that truck? You just think I'm somebody that truck in that boat? Who, who'd you buy it from? Yeah, out in Georgia. Uh, D's towing. Georgia. I think it just broke the brackets all the time. It broke the gearbox. Oh, look at that. Right here, the frame's twisted right here. Twig, straighten that up. Right there. It's twisted? Yeah. This right, well. Where's it that? It's that. It's the That's frame. broken down there, too. Yeah. It, it broke that whole bracket. I can't tell if it's twisted. I don't think it is, but right there at the very tip is twisted. Well, that's a hard hit to break it. Yeah. Especially, Especially on the opposite it side. As many times as it broke it. I mean, it. These commons get you every time. As a Detroit, you done been out of the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> God. The car hit this thing? A truck, a Tundra. Got this thing kind of tore apart, which we ain't allowed to touch it no more. I talked to the insurance company. So the guy has already filed a claim, literally already filed a claim um, with our insurance company and they've done called me and I mean, it just happened. So I wasn't gonna file it. I was just gonna fix the truck, you know, just put bolts in it and fix the, get a new bracket for it and fix it, bumper, put it back on the road. But, um, now that the insurance is involved, which they'll do an investigation, which we were making a right turn. The guy comes flying around the trailer. We got it all on video, dash cam, and 
this truck has cameras all the way around it. So side cameras um, on both sides and it's got a dash cam, which I recommend every company having these because it just saved our butts, hopefully. So invest, they're gonna do an investigation, which Trip, you know, he was turning right into the international dealer. He turned his right blinker on. He was in the right lane. And of course you gotta swing out to make that turn. So he had his right blinker on, you know, going real slow, went out, made his swing to go right into the parking lot. And the guy just come flying up around him, went up into the grass. And I mean, he was just going too fast to stop. There was no way. I mean, he definitely got slowed down quite a bit or it'd have been way worse that the guy come flying around him and hit the, uh, the front of the truck. He almost took out two guys too. But like I said, it's all on camera. Um, I'll show you guys the footage on it after the insurance gets done with it. You know, they said just, uh, they didn't care if I shared our video, but they didn't want to wait until the investigation's over to share the video on it. Plus, I don't want to, um, you know, the guys didn't want to put his identity out there. But he got out cussing and yelling at Trip. So it's all on camera. Trip didn't fight with him. He just sit in his truck until the guy calmed down and then, um, you know, and then once the police got there, he talked to the police and all that and shared, you know, give them the video. So, but the guy's already filed a report um, saying it was our fault. So I guess we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some sleep early tonight. I've got to get up early in the morning and swap those loads around. Uh, we got to go load, load the stainless trailer down in Alabama so we're going to put that load on that trailer and then send it down and reload it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Go get started. All right, I got to move this trailer out of the dock. This will fire up old yeller. I just put some new batteries on it yesterday and trying to get it straightened out. It's getting cold, it's got oil pressure. Got a light out. Let's see if these side lights work. trucks warming up <sighs> come on holly let's go get the heater fired up that's weird it's weird being able to say that. We're gonna fire the heater up this morning, baby. Get it nice and warm so we can do some painting. Woo! Come on, Mr. Resner. Oh, wait. Well, that's about 65 degrees. 60. I could go for 70, so. I could go for 70. Oh God! Hey, why is the air kicking on? You didn't turn the air on, did you? Yeah. Damn, Bella. My heater ain't kicking on for some reason, though. Is that my car? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We've been completely rebuilt this thing. Just have to make sure we had good heat all this year. Come on, baby. Give me some power. All right, fellas. I 
Let's see how movies trailers. motor in this thing and I'm probably gonna sell it. Give you guys a chance at a good deal on a new truck with a new motor. Or a newer truck with a new motor. No, oh, I'll be here. I'm just bagging under the trailer, honey. Do some cross docking. Let's go. I can't believe they left those in there. I can't believe they did either. So, having to do the right thing, you get burnt. Look. They want me to haul this down there for free. He's like, I'll try to get you mileage paid. They can send an LTL down here. I'll just store it. They can pay cold storage. They sure took it off down there instead of telling me to leave with it. I know it. That's crazy. And I told him that too. I said, look, they signed his bills and told him to leave, that it was overage. How many times we get that? All the time. A lot. So just like any normal day. I just thought it was a lot of money sitting in there and thought I'd do the right thing. Well, that wasn't the right move, was it?
been a while. It's been too long. It is crazy. So that's what I need. I need to just call my uh, catalyst lady and see if she can uh, see what's actually going on. Because I know he told me he's going to call the seller and do an LTL and sell these to the same place. So I'm sure they're getting paid for an LTL, which might not be a crap ton of money, but it should cover driver and fuel. Yeah. Beef one, shrimp one, is that all? I think that's all this box is. I don't know what that one is. Same thing. Yeah, beef one. Is that considered? Uh, I don't know. Ribs? Don't know. I'll get back. Mm. We better get this thing switched out and get this other one in the trailer. Yeah, because we can Yep. Frozen. I still can't believe they left them on there. Ah, they don't give a crap. No, they don't. Them boys. Do. I just hope we get back. I get back down. Get down on with them when they take them. Instead of sending me back with them. Oh no, they're taking them this time. If I take them down there, they're taking. Them. I'm getting. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting me. A, I want something saying they're going to take them before we drive back. That's what's going to happen. We get down there and they say, "Oh, we can't take them back. We can't take them." <clears throat> then here we are with 80 cases coming back here and then I go, then you got to go all the way to Gunnersville and we load no. that's, that's a waste of trip and waste of fuel
I was wondering what that was for. It scared me one day. It kept coming on and off, but I'm like, oh, shit. You flashing your lights at people? Like, the, yeah. well, if you do that, it'll click on and off like there's a light disruption. Oh, okay. I was wondering what it was doing that for because it scared me one day. Like, man, there's something wrong with this trailer. It's first load, he's freaking out. I said, you flash your lights to somebody to get over? Yeah. I said, that's just, that's just a lot of interruption. That's what I kind of figured it was, so I really wasn't worried about it because my other lot wasn't going off, so. That's all it is. <laughs> but I mean, if we do have lot problems, Amazing coming from the trailer park being on the back of the truck into your own dock. <laughs> I know, right? It is amazing. locked in there got a lot out all right you're good to go there she goes Scratch inside that trailer don't look good. What's that do?
this. Max kind of like it's a miss. So, all right, guys. So, that's going to finish off today's video. Um, on our next video, we are going to give you guys an update on the sleeper and the cab for the Blue Peterbilt and the wrecker as well. We got a lot. A lot's happened right this week. Yeah, it's been a busy week, and it's, what, Wednesday? Yeah, I can't, I can't believe the amount of progress we've made, especially on these two and the Wrecker. The Wrecker is... Uh... All right, so guys, let us know down in the comments, what do you think about the trucking industry is going right now? How are you guys doing on freight, um, the freight rates? Everything's just happening. I mean, there's a lot of people going out of business. I mean, really, what everybody needs to be doing right now is praying and hoping that things turn around, but... I think we're in for a tough winter, but let us know what you guys think about it. Let us know y'all's experiences and uh, what y'all think about what we've got going on. I mean, I know we can do things to better our business, and we're going to try that. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can give us some good ideas and some things that we can try. Trucking right now is totally different. I mean, it's some of those things I've never experienced before, and that's what's awesome about this YouTube channel is learning new things and being able to communicate with you guys. But we're gonna finish it off there. Love you guys and we'll see you on the next one.